Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys. So I've been looking at what we got going on up here, and yes, I am liking it. I do think that the uh, the little pathing path and stuff that we got going on, I think it will work out just fine for us. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this tree. I know it's a little tree. We, it could have grown. It could have been something. But it's in my way. It really, really, really was in my way. So we're going to get rid of that. Then we're going to come down in here. And I am going to do the double floodgate. I think is what I want to do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, yes, let's research that. So it's going to take planks and boards to do this. Okay, so... Now, the real question is, can I do it like this? I don't know. I don't know how all this is going to work just yet. So, we're going to we're gonna play with it. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully, I don't flood and make a mess of things because, yeah, this, this could go bad. But with it being able to open, I think what will happen is I'll just open it up if anything starts flooding and we'll just let it, you know, run its course like normal. So I think that's what's going to, I think that that will be what we normally do is as soon as the, uh, I wonder, hold on, is there a way? My only question is it says blocks water up to an adjustable height. So surely if I want to like leave one block deep trapped, I should be able to leave one block deep and only open up the top. Yes. Or is it opens from the bottom? See, I don't know. Ah, well, we'll figure it out here soon anyway. I say soon. We have to get past the the drought first, so we'll probably we'll probably end up having issues with that. What do we got? Uh, drought in progress for 1.6 days. We've got everything still growing. We're still doing good. We still got plenty of food. We've got water. We're still pumping a little bit of water, but that's okay. Yeah, that water down here is going to dry up probably today. I wonder if that was a shorter shorter drought. Hmm. Either it was a shorter drought or they didn't pump as much. Yeah, because it'll die in 1.9 days and we have 0. 0.6 days. So yeah, all of these crops should come back. Hmm. I am interested to see how this is going to play out today. Hopefully it plays out pretty good. Okay, here comes the water. Okay, plank production is started again. All of our crops have survived. Which is so nice because those were at 90 something percent. And then. Yeah, we've already got water flowing over here again. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh, we can adjust the height. Nice, 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 nice. This construction site is too far from the builders. So, what you're telling me... Is that we're going to have to build a bridge. Can I even build a bridge with that little tree growing right there? I don't even know if I can do that. That's not going to work because a beaver has to get over there to it. Okay, so just go ahead and destroy that because that's not going to work. Alright, downside to the bridge is you've got to have open land on the other side. Um, makes sense. I'm not going to argue that. It, it does make perfect sense. So, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to unlock that one. Yes, let's go ahead and unlock that guy. And then I'm going to build that across. That way we can go across. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing I was concerned about, was whether or not we would be able to uh, walk across walk across the uh the thing and it doesn't look like it's gonna yeah we can't even put a path up there so which i mean it's understandable it's blocked so i'm just saying you know beaver could probably like squeeze around that little pole rope whatever you want to call that just saying just saying four planks and four planks okay Yeah, we'll get this done. We'll figure out how to control the water. And then at that point, we'll be able to expand a little bit f more freely, I think. And I also want to... Also want to harvest all those trees. Alright, beavers, get this built. <laughs> I like how it's already flooded and deepened up here, and we haven't even got the things built yet. We just got that one. Hopefully that doesn't make it, like, spew over. Yep, we'll leave those at one and a half each.
Water seems to be moving faster up here. I don't know if it's because we have the uh, the stuff in the way. I don't know. Hey, we got them all done. Nice. I'm sitting there watching how it's going up and down, how it's kind of bouncing. We had that issue on the uh, back in the demo where, or not the demo, but like the, the, the beta access where we were flooding out areas of land whenever the water would like pulsate like that. So I'm a little bit curious as to see what will happen right here. Can I put in... Yeah, I could put in some beavers up here like that. Let's send in two more, two more lumberjacks. Let's let them do some stuff. Yeah, I think that'll work out pretty good. All right, so I'm pretty sure that we're good on food. I'm pretty sure that we're good on water control now. Uh, now we've got to figure out how to how to get people over here. Um, what happens if I migrate four adults over here to this area? What happens? Do they do stuff? I don't want to accidentally kill our beavers, but see, it's I wonder if it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay, well, since that's like it is. All right, let's try to see if we can't just get more, more beavers going over here. Maybe, maybe we can figure something out. I don't know. There we go. Put in five more houses. That's a lot of work to get up to another set of houses, but that's okay. They got their, they got their little chill area inside over here. Well, yeah, we're going to see if we can't get some extra beavers going. Maybe, maybe we could figure something out. Maybe we have to have a higher population in order to, to move them. I don't know.
Hmm. I mean, that does kind of overlap. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We need to we need to figure that out. That's that's the big that's the big thing right now is trying to figure that out. All right. Well, we got plenty of logs. We had plenty of planks, but we kind of, we used a few. We used just a few. So it does seem like, for whatever reason, we're not having too many, too many homeless problems, though. So maybe they redefine their mechanic with the homelessness and like the over beaver, the beaver overpopulation. If that's a thing, I don't know if that's a thing or not. There we go. You know what? Go ahead and give me four beavers there. Okay, so we, we have one unemployed beaver. And that's probably because that one just died. But we are getting beaver housing. Oh, yeah, we've got a... I keep forgetting to do the paths. There you go. You happy now? And the number of beavers is going up. So, yeah, I think it's... I don't know. Maybe it's... The drought will happen in 2.8 days. Alright. We're going to see if this works. I'm going to leave it at its current 1.5 level. And then when the water runs low down here, I'm going to open it up. We're going to drain some water and we're going to see if we can't just keep this full. A little bit of micromanaging there, but, you know, that that bit of micromanaging I don't care for. Or I don't mind, I should say. That one that one kind of seems kind of, kind of fun being able to open and control and, you know, open and shut, control the water, that type of thing. Now, if I had a big enough reservoir up here, I could even, like, just maybe open one and maybe just keep these, like, flowing the whole time. That would be funny. I don't know if we could do that, though. We'd have to... We would have to raise it up one more level at least. Probably dam this off, you know. Dam this off. Make it... Make it to where it was a little bit bigger, a little bit higher. But this is the test I was hoping for. Alright, so we are up to 31 beavers. We've got room for 45 beavers. Excellent. That was weird. I had watched. Yeah, I'm watching this go green, not green, green, not green. Is it because, ah, it's because the water's pulsating. I bet you. 
Hmm. Yeah, because when it rose up, it went more green. Almost there, almost to the drought. And it has begun. For six days it shall be dry. Okay, so no water is going through there at the moment. How is that wheel still going? Um. <laughs> okay. Did, did we break the game? Because we've got a, a power wheel, a water wheel, still running. And there's no, and there's no moving water, yeah? Yeah, there's no moving water. Hmm. Oh, no, it stopped. Okay. Took it a bit, but it stopped. Yeah, water's pretty low down there. Oh, okay, so that opens them all up to that. Nice. Haha. -ha. So, yes, that refilled that. That refilled that a little bit. Nice. So, yes, that is going to work exactly the way I wanted it to. So, we're roughly two days into the drought, and I restocked the water down here just by dropping that floodgate down half a block. Now the question is, is with it being a six-day drought, how long will a full block of water up here last? Because I'm not going to open it until we get at least half a block down again. I don't want to waste it. Still doing all right on water. How are we doing up here? Yeah, see, nobody's pumping, so the I guess the evaporation up here isn't going nowhere near as fast as it is down here since they're pumping.
Nice. Very, very nice. I am liking what we got going. And we got two days left. Water is pretty low. Yeah, it kicks on the power wheel. That's funny. That is funny. It kicks it on just for a minute. But yeah, that's just big enough that it raises it up just a, just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and drop it all the way down. We'll let all that drain out. And that puts us at about half a block. So we have half a block of water for 1.3 days. So yes, that is, that is going to work. It is going to work. So now if I want a bigger reservoir, all I have to do is tear these out, put in ones that are three tall, and then come in and just build some blocks back here. Of course, we probably should have put the path on the front of it if we were going to do that, because yeah, that's all right though. I think for now it's good. And who knows, we might get the dynamite and I might and I might be able to come in here and like, you know, hollow this out, open this up a little bit more, give it a bigger bigger reservoir of water to hold. But we kept it green the whole time, so goal has been accomplished. We've got almost 1,500 food. We're still at 178 water, which means we've maintained pretty much all of our water. And the drought has ended. I'm going to go ahead and let it flood down here and fill this up, and then I'll close the gate again. There we go. Gave it enough just to keep it going for a second. That's filling up and there it is. So it will, yep. And then it's flowing here, flowing there. Everything is great. All right. Aha. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The floodgates worked. Our little upper... Upper level reservoir is holding. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about this bottom one yet. I don't, I don't know if that was just a waste of of my stuff or like you know what what we're gonna do. I mean, I I want to do something with it. I just don't know what to do with it just yet. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.